Hello everyone, Ryan here and today we have another episode of Not Really Qualified to Talk About Music. It has been another while since the last one. It seems to always be a while since the previous one, but you know, it's all good. We have Josh again here um, and today we finally have a special guest who we've been trying to get on for ages. We just never managed to <laughs> get the right timings. We have Sean Reedy, or also known as S. Reedy. How are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm happy to be here, man. I'm excited. Yeah. Like, I'm freaking, I love you guys. You, so, you sound pumped, man. You sound pumped. It's pumped. crazy. Yeah. It's great. Well, it's 2 p.m. where I'm at, so you know, I'm, I've got all this <laughs> afternoon energy. Oh great! Yeah. Brilliant, man. That's, that's it. That's great. See, I, I'm like, I'm like smiling. I'm so happy that we finally have <laughs> S3D on the podcast. I've been looking forward to this for so long. No, oh, it's good. Shucks, it's good. you guys. Are so <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> and Josh, how are you doing? I always forget to ask you how are you doing. I'm, I'm doing good. Like, I feel like it's. I feel like we've we've talked like a bit through like text, but like yeah. But like we You've don't been dropping some albums my way. I'm 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 liking it. Yeah, I'm liking it. But like I... some recommendations. Yeah, but like if anyone doesn't know, like we're all in like me, Ryan, and a bunch of friends. We're all in a Discord together, and like I've sort of t- taken a break from yeah the Discord, uh, trying to take a break from like loads of opinions, sort of throwing my way. So yeah, I I, I, f- I feel you on that. It, it yeah. gets hectic. It gets hectic. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel I feel like uh, this will be a nice little a brief catch up. Yeah, and, uh, for sure. People, you know, maybe uh, yeah. It's I'm I'm doing all right, you know. I've, I've yeah. gone through hurdles these past weeks, but everything's everything's going smoothly. Feel good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, yeah. Good. And uh, Sean, you dropped an album recently. I briefly touched on it, and I think a few other reviewers talked about it too. Um, how how's how's the response been? It's been really really good, man. Like I'm, yeah. I'm really happy about it. You know, I, I put it out as kind of a just kind of a transitional piece of kind of where I want to go because it just, it is a real mixed bag of a bunch of songs that I just, Mm. I really, that's why it's, you know, it's called a mixtape, you know? Yeah. yeah, You know, um, a few people have been really adamant about like, this is a mixtape. This is a mix, like, but like, it's really, I mean, it's an album. I don't really care what it's called. I really only called it a (laughs) mixtape because it's, it's just a really mixed bag of stuff. And so I'm really just trying to figure out where I want to go stylistically when I have my next really big release. But the fact that this like kind of stepping stone has kind of resonated with people at all really kind of means a lot to me. And a lot of people think that it's my best album so far. And like, it, mm. it, I, I, I really, I don't know. It, it's been really great. Like just the fact that I did this is kind of like a thing to just throw out there while i'm getting ready for my next big one and people really seem to like connect with it like yeah yeah it's been really great man yeah good good that's no, really good to hear yeah because i feel like i feel like when when i heard that kit come out like i'm glad you said it it feels like a transitional piece because um you you're right like there is there, there, it's quite a mixed bag of tunes and i was like for the most part i was pretty shocked with what you were coming out with on that on that record like I don't know i guess i wasn't expecting a lot of things or a a bunch of surprises so Mm. now i'm interested in (laughs) you know which surprises are going to come out on you know on your you know your your post transitional record like yeah a lot of people didn't expect me to scream my brains out over distorted bass on track yeah (laughs) that's that that was the best one though you just went like i remember hearing that i was like I was like on the train and I just put my I put my fist on my mouth. I was like, oh shit! What's <laughs> <laughs> going off? Like he's going off on this tune. I was I was fucking crazy. I remember that like so vividly. That's really funny, man. Yeah, I made that song. Uh, I made that song pretty pretty shortly after meeting JPEG Mafia at South by Southwest. Uh, okay. I was just about to say it reminded me a bit of Peggy. <laughs> it was yeah, pretty yeah. soon after that. I was I was feeling, you know, I was in that mode. Yeah. What's That's funny about nice. Peggy is I've only met him once, but uh and then he, you know, got super famous and changed his phone number and now I'd never talk to him. But <laughs> <laughs> that sounds brutal. I I love <laughs> Peggy. I, I sent him a DM the other day. He you think you know him, him, huh? Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> you know, he came out with that song. He came out with that song with Flume. Like, what's it yeah. called? Like, Call Me or something like that. I, oh, I don't even know. But like at the end, he's like, "If you have my phone number, call me because networking is good" or something like that. 
I was like, well, you changed it on me, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't what, call him, you. Peggy the hypocrite, man. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, don't that's, be putting words that. in my mouth. Don't be getting quotes out of me that way. Nah, <laughs> that's funny. No, I, like, I DM'd him the other day. He DM'd back, and I was like, do I ask for the new number? No, I don't. I don't. No, yeah. <laughs> he's probably but, like, um, met, so, met so many people at this point. He's gotten to the point where he's like, I don't remember who the fuck I had in my previous phone. Like, Yeah, it's pretty he's, ridiculous, he's, man. He is, I remember, so I, I sort of found, I got around to his music around, um, I think it was the Second Amendment. Um, that's when Fantano, yeah. that's when Fantano put me onto him because Fantano like briefly mentioned the Second Amendment in like, I don't know, I can't remember where it was, but um, like that's when I got onto him and like I was replying to his tweets back then and I was replying to his tweets even when, um, you know, uh, he, you know his big album came out like a, i've forgotten the name of it already veteran veteran, veteran. Um, Vet- yeah yeah like when veteran came out like it it was big but like i don't know it was a big in a small community and like he was still replying to tweets and like mess you know mm. talking to people and i like, met yeah. him right as he dropped veteran and it uh, still okay. wasn't like crazy yet so i feel no, you yeah. yeah yeah so mm. like i it's it's weird seeing him now he's he's a, a full-on artist like he it feels like he's grown into like his own skin like and like he's really sort of gotten big and you know people are talking about him constantly he's grown a massive fan base yeah yeah uh, it's great it's so cool but it is weird seeing you know those two you know watching an artist sort of blow up before your eyes yeah, yeah, I'm super proud of him. You know, I I yeah. was just I knew him because I was just you know I'm friends with some of the Ruby yacht guys and so um you know, he, Peggy and Milo were supposed to go on a tour together. They were yeah. going to perform in Dallas, and I was going to open up for them, and I was really excited about it. And I don't know why, Ooh. but that show got canceled for some reason. Oh. But I talked to Peggy on Instagram and stuff, and so we met down at South by Southwest, and we got to hang out for a day and stuff, and uh, we got to talk and, like, and so, yeah, he's a really, really great guy, and, like, he deserves every single thing that he's getting because he's – like truly truly the definition of an artist like yeah like i said we've only had a few brief conversations but he has never been anything but like kind and understanding and like just really kind of under the impression that we're all artists we're not like different levels of artists like yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. he even listened like he even told me he listened to my record and like that's why he ended up following me back in the first place is i was like like dude, I just DM'd you and then you listen to my record. You know, like, he is just, like, a yeah. super, super great guy. I wish I could awesome. uh, talk to him more, but he's too busy being, like, a super famous celebrity rock star, so I totally yeah. understand. <laughs> he's, been, like, he's been dropping YouTube video. I haven't watched them, but he's just been dropping YouTube video after YouTube with, like, Jeff Tweedy. Yeah. From, uh, <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, how are you hanging out with Jeff Tweedy? How did how oh, you get to yeah. this point, like... Was oh, it that one where they were like talking about the upcoming album and like well, everyone was just saying shit? Yeah, he's like ti- he's titled the whole thing like um, that this person is disappointed. It's so, like Jeff Tweedy's disappointed. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah, like, yeah. even James Blake was on. Like, <laughs> was like, how was are you so like? Good. How is this connect? You know, how are you connecting with all these people? Like, you got a record deal? Well, you know, you're not telling us about. Well, mm. does, is he on a record label? Not I that like I know he, of. I know that I he's. Know. Um... I know he was like Death Bomb Arc. Like veteran was Death Bomb Arc, which I mean is a record label, but it's, it's very independent. You know, it's not like mm-hmm. it's nothing too crazy. Yeah, well, you know, they've been putting out really big records too. You know, I've I've talked to mm. I've talked to the person that's done that. I've I've um whatever it doesn't matter. But uh, they've been putting out really big stuff for a little bit too. You know, they've been putting out SB the More and clipping and. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lana, yeah. Lana Del Rabies and all that. Like she's that's, great. <laughs> yeah, love- she's amazing. Yeah, she is fantastic, and um, like they put out that Dos, Ma- Dos Manos record that everybody, yeah, 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 a lot yeah. Of people like. But I, I'm pretty sure they also have like some Death Grips under their belt too. Yeah, they did, they did the first Death Grips mixtape or something like that. I think. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. they've been kicking about for a while. This yeah, for so long. But like, I feel a lot like of names. I feel like Veteran has like really pushed them up. Truly, like I think that brought a lot of people you know a lot of eyes to their you know their little label that they've got going. yeah for sure, for sure. only because only of, of physicals because like the veteran mixtape i think uh mixtape a uh, tape like cassette tape yeah the cassette tapes yeah yeah it must i'm pretty sure it's on like it's fourth pressing now same with the mm. vinyl same mm. with the vinyl like they've sold so much of that 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, their business model is amazing. Like the fact that they're like running limited edition cassette tape runs and then like yeah. selling out like in two days and stuff. Like in yeah. 2019, I'm just amazed people really are sweet. buying cassettes. Like that's what I'm is, saying, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, like, who's got the time for cassettes? Come on, guys. <laughs> I know what it is. Like I own a few cassettes, but like I rarely ever play them. Yeah, I guess know? it's yeah. just a novelty of I've got this cassette. It's something I want to collect. Sure. Like it's, they're, they're I get that. I get that. They're cute. Like, I mean, when you think about where hip hop, you know, came from, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You think about cassettes. You think about vinyl. So I, f- I feel like it, it really only makes sense for people to be sort of, you know, heading towards that direction. Hmm. Um, but yeah, shout out Death Bomb Arc, man. Like, yeah, yeah shout out Ra- Death Bomb, man. I, f- I feel like Lana Del Rey's especially deserves a fucking like huge shout out because I love her music. I, she's I'm sleeping, amazing. man. Who is this artist? Who is who? She's like a noise. She, she's basically oh. a noise artist, but um, I don't know how you, you explain it. It's like very gothic. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's like goth, kind of experimental noise, a little harsh, noisy, yeah. and like, but it's like the soundscapes that she creates are like, are like really mind blowing. Like, okay, yeah. it's yeah. not even like, man, yeah, I, you'll have to listen to it, Ryan. Honestly, like, it's really yeah. hard to explain. <laughs> like, it's like, all right, cool. Like, it's, like, kind of your typical industrial noise music in some ways, but, I mean, just, like, the amount of time and, like, the the way it's produced and mixed and stuff and, like, the just the, like I said, like, the sonic landscape she creates is, like, mind-blowing. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. interested. Yeah, she's yeah. great. Yeah. Cool. yeah on cool. cassettes, yeah. it's funny, I, I have, I'm looking at the only two cassettes I own right now, and it's... The t- it's it's uh Caro Caro Benito. It's both Caro Caro Benitos. What is, uh, time and place? <laughs> time and place. And what's the other one? Is it just the self-titled one? She Benito came to Norman a little generation. while back. It's Benito Generation. Yeah, being, Benito, Benito yeah. Generation. She came. She came to. She came to my hometown recently, and uh, so I I had to like. And it's like you said with the novelty of it. I was like, well, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I've yeah, never cool. opened them. I'm just looking at them. Like I've just, I just <laughs> bought them and I look at them. That's cool. <laughs> no, that's I, awesome. It's funny when I think when I think about Kira Kira Benito. I, sometimes I just like I'm like, what kind of fucking like musical landscape do we live in? To the point where Kira Kira Benito like super successful because I just feel like there would have been like this is like the perfect time for a band like them. Yeah. And yeah. I yeah, abs- yeah. I mean, I absolutely fucking like adore Kira Kira, but I would, I will give them as much money as they possibly need to succeed you know like but i just can't believe they're so popular and but i mean when you sit back it is it is just like the perfect time for for a band like that yeah it's no quite, yeah it's quite incredible yeah, i agree I yeah agree. i don't see i don't really see kkb like getting su- super successful in like 1993 <laughs> no or any no, time before no. it <laughs> no definitely not like it's definitely a, there's a market for for um k-pop k-pop rock k-rock well they're, they're, they're pop as well so like i don't know <laughs> yeah. whatever it is yeah and you know that new record they came out you know the freaking time and place is like yeah. shoegazy dream pop too and it's kind of cool like they can kind of go any direction they want with it like oh so yeah i'm so happy with that record um, yeah i was i mean me too man they're they're incredible yeah. Yeah, and once it an, yeah, shout out Kara Kara Benito. And once again, like yeah. a band with totally super nice and awesome people. Like when I oh, yeah. I got to speak with all of them, um, I mean, they're just super great. Oh, and even you guys' boy got to interview them, huh? Yeah, um, yeah Liam. Liam, Liam, Liam. I was about to say, I'm about to shout him out. Shout out, shout out yes. Liam. Love you, I mean, boy. Yeah. totally. What a cute interview that was. Totally representative of who they are as people, man. They just, like, they're just so nice. They're just so sweet. Like, yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, it's awesome. It's good. I like hearing stuff like that. Yeah, straight out of UK too. Shout out to our UK boys. Yeah, yeah. 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 I gotta make it Woo. up there sometime. <laughs> Honestly, like UK. Oh yeah. F- yeah, yeah. Of course. Like, as you come down, literally anywhere in the UK, as long as you give me enough time, I will definitely try and come to a show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, good, I haven't man. got to tour outside of the US yet, so um, oh, that's UK would yeah. be so good. One day, I man. Would, one day. I would love to. Yeah. Yeah, like we just got like all of our friends would just come. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we get we pull as many people as possible. I swear, that'd be awesome. Yeah, but anyway, today we're gonna be talking about uh, anticipated albums because 
uh, we just want to talk about the albums for the rest of the year because there's loads of shit coming out. So, um, uh, Sean, I will start with you. What are you anticipating for the rest of the year? Because there's Man, some good stuff you on guys the way. Are gonna, you guys are going to have to carry me through this one. I don't really know. I, I'm trying to... Like when you said that's what we were going to be talking about today, I was like, dang it, man. Like, I don't know. I wish I had 20 minutes to think about it. <laughs> it's okay. Um, um, well, surely you're anticipating Danny Brown, right? Because that, Of that course, just got yeah. Announced. So Danny Brown well, is dropping God. this year for sure, right? Oh, my God. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just before uh, we started this podcast, I think. Um, 4th of October. D- yeah, 4th of October. There was a link, a DJ Booth uh, linked it on twitter saying it's the uh, 4th of october there's a song on the way i don't know if it's coming today or tomorrow who knows yeah. but yeah but, but, it's coming but man my god dude the album cover is incredible i know it's i love incredible. the album cover it's so good the album cover is already here yeah, yeah we've already yeah. got the album it's all right like a, i'm gonna you guys yeah, are gonna get my live reaction it. to it real yeah. quick yeah <laughs> it's, got, it's got like um what i love most about it is it's got like the uh the, the three Danny Browns just peeking out, uh, peeking out yeah, the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels so <laughs> 80s somehow. Like, oh, I don't know I what it, it's reminding it looks, me of, but yeah, it's just it like an 80s super, sitcom yeah, or 90s like, sitcom. Yeah, like it looks super synthy. I'm like, oh, yeah, my yeah. God, I'm so excited. And you know JPEG Math. Apparently Q-Tip produced it, right? Like Q-Tip's what? on production for, uh, for Danny? Yeah, That's for awesome. Danny. Yeah, executive producer. Yeah, there's loads yeah. of different yeah. other names That's on there. Incredible. So yeah, that's you know, dropping Jake, a month like, today. Like, that, crazy. oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not that excited for Danny Brown. Like, I, I can wait. And like, when that album cover popped out, I was like, oh fuck, I can't <laughs> wait anymore. Like, I need this shit now. Like, I need that. I, I need that track with JPEG Mafia for sure. Like, I need it now. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Unless like maybe they're both on each other's albums, that'd be sick. Like, yeah, oh, maybe, maybe. I'll be having that. That'd be great. Two songs with Danny Brown and JPEG Mafia in. That's incredible. I just know I'll end up not liking. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm I try so... to like him. I try to yeah, like yeah. Peggy. I, I know. I, I did. I did like the singles. No, the one single he dropped last year, the Puff Daddy. That was great. Did you like the new single? Uh, no, not really. You're tripping. Honestly, honestly, You're tripping. I'm so, I know. I know. It's crazy, <laughs> right? But every time people are like, "Oh yeah, the new Peggy song," I was like, "All right, I'll put it on." So I've listened to it a lot already, and I keep forgetting what it sounds like. Like I genuinely couldn't recall oh. what it is. I must have oh, listened to it on, six man. times. Hey, honestly, man. yeah. I just, I just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But yeah, I, I know it's a bad take, whatever. But you know, it's just how it is. The fucking hook on that track is incredible. For me, like, like, like the bit of auto tune that he gets up on there is like, <laughs> yeah, it's my amazing. god, <laughs> I love that tune so much. Ugh. yeah, I was, I was like, I was like, people are either gonna love or hate this, but I think the majority of people do like that track. Yeah, most, most. I mean, his fans absolutely like it. Like they're gonna love it. They're gonna love yeah. the album, I'm sure. But um, yeah, you know. oh, I de- yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for a fucking, I'm hoping for even better than veteran. Mm. Even better. I, I want to be, I don't want to be disappointed. I know this is like his marketing thing now. He's like, get ready to be disappointed. Disappointed. I, yeah, I it's just, uh, dis- I think it's part of the meme, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the, the album might just be called Disappointed. Yeah, oh yeah, like, it's coming out soon, isn't it? I don't, does it even have yeah, a name? We, no, no, we don't have a title. We don't have an album cover. We don't have anything. It's just like, it's going to yeah. be there. I mean, I'm anticipating it, even though I'm not a big fan of him. Like, I'm always looking out for music from artists like oh, that, where because like they're yeah. just so creative and they're always doing something that's different to yeah. to the norm. That I'm 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 excited either way. Like, it's yeah. gonna be. You, di- you always feel like there's a possibility that they yeah, that was something you enjoy. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Similar yeah. with Charlie XCX, Josh's yes. girl, his Charlie wife, XCX. his woman for life. Biggest Charlie <laughs> XCX. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like. Yeah. Like I'm loving. You know what? I stopped at the Sky Ferreira single. I, st- I I was just like, no, I'm not going to listen to it. Yeah. And then, like, my friend, who's also a big Charlie XCX stan, she was like, no, you know, you, you've got to listen to this one. You know, if you're a true stan, and I'm like, oh, I can't have, <laughs> true I can't have my stan. I can't have my stan this sort of, <laughs> you know, taken away from me. So I had to listen to it. Jeez. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. You this- dropped your stan card. I uh, dropped my stan. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no but like that sky ferrero track is so good it's so dark and like that is exactly what i expected but the heim track i am i'm actually putting off the heim track i don't want to listen to that yet yeah 
Uh, Yo, I feel you. I I always stop at about two singles. I'm like, nope. Yeah. The album. See, see, I'm, it, I'm it, with you. It's weird. Like, I'll. It depends what artist it is. If it's an artist that I've been waiting for, for like ever, and I'm getting singles from them, and you know, I love them so much. I'm like, I'll probably listen to most of the singles because I'll, I like the. I'll listen to the album a bunch anyway. But um, mm. if it's with like, I don't know. If it's with like artists that. I'm not too, I'm not, like, not keen on, like, I like them, but I, I'm probably just going to wait until the full album comes out. Like, I don't listen to singles that much. Yeah. Um, and, and for good reason, honestly, I feel like singles are super hit and miss for me. Like, they either work by themselves or, or I'll, you know, I'll get to them on the album and they'll hit me there. Yeah. Um, no, that's like, what I'm saying, man. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, with all my projects I've done the last, you know, three years, I put out one single and, like, like I'm like, mm. this is what you can almost kind of expect, and then I put out the album. I mean, I guess it kind of makes. It, I guess it might be different for people who aren't album artists. Like they want to like be able to be like, here's a little taste of this, here's a little taste of that, here's a little taste yeah. of this. Yeah. But I mean, like you know, I the majority of who I listen to are album artists, and like so, like especially I ha- I hate when people drop like four singles before an album comes out because I'm like, nope. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna just experience the whole thing all at once. Just because I don't know, I like it's just a better experience that way. And I guess I, yeah. most people probably listen to singles. We're probably in the minority here. Yeah, we're the um, minority for sure. Yeah, for, yeah, sure. for sure. Like, like everyone I, I talk to is not like this at all. But you know, we're, yeah. we're music people. We're, we're going to be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I sort of agree. Like I'm I'm I would prefer if an artist only really put out a single, and if not, like just don't put out anything. If it, like the the best part, the best experience I had last year was witnessing the uh, the new Arctic Monkeys album in full, just as it was. Like, they didn't put out a track. They didn't put out pretty much any teasers whatsoever. You know, mm. like, it was just like you got the album, and, and that was it. Like, you just had to listen to the record. Like, I, I loved that. That was so much fun, and I, I do wish that more artists would, would go with that. But, you know, you know, you kind of know why Charlie XCX is putting out a track. Like, she's been putting out tracks weekly at this point, I think yeah it's Um, been so many yeah and it's like well it's because like she's gonna get her sales from singles mostly you know yeah she 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 definitely understands like uh you know who she's who she's sort of selling this record to for sure it's weird because like she started off really pop and uh like she was huge she was on like mainstream singles she had a number one hit mm. technically with fancy with uh iggy azalea and then she like went yeah. in a bit of like a an underground route and just disappeared for a little while from like the mainstream but like yeah. uh and then dropped the mixtapes and stuff and then obviously got all that huge critical acclaim but now yeah. she's kind of like gone back to the pop stuff like with all these Almost, singles they just yeah. sound like straight from like radio one or something like 1999 is just a straight up pop song like I'm, I'm, oh, it's kind of sure. weird to see uh, kind of take that route most artists don't usually do that yeah definitely it, it definitely makes more sense for like it <laughs> it makes more sense for me to drop one single than the album than for charlie xcx to drop yeah. one single and then drop the whole record like yeah because yeah, yeah. charlie xcx can like it's exactly like i was talking about she'll definitely be like here's a little bit of this here's a little bit of that here's yeah, a little bit of yeah. this you don't yeah. know what to expect <laughs> <laughs> there's a track for everybody yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what Ed, she- Ed Sheeran did with his last album, not the collaboration project that he dropped, but his his last album. Yeah, yeah. He like made every track to so that it would be in the singles chart, and he did it for like for like two straight weeks. I'm pretty sure the full like the first like section of the top 100 was his entire album. Yeah, yeah, and they changed the rules because of that. I think. Yeah. His album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that yeah, like, caused but the like he, change? He, he'd like, uh, yeah, he'd like openly come out and said, "Yeah, I, I wrote every track on here to to get it in the chart." Well, fair enough. Like, I mean, he did it, but um, my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but it's, but new albums kind of like that though. because every track's different. It's all different like, genres. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But I guess yeah. it's similar. I don't know if that um I don't know if that charted well. Well, it must have charted well because it was everywhere. But you know, you know what I mean. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are we anticipating uh, Alex Cameron? You guys an Alex Cameron fan? Oh 
yeah. I'll listen to that yeah. for sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll check that out. I didn't know he was coming out with another one. Yeah, it's a few weeks, In I like think. two weeks. Two yeah, weeks. yeah. I yeah. like Alex Cameron. He's good. Yeah, he's great. Um, I got to see him live last year in Cambridge, and he came to Cambridge, and, like, that was, was that an experience? Yeah, was that like a crazy experience? <laughs> I met, I met, um, <laughs> I met uh, the what uh, I forget his name. Like you know the saxophone guy that he's with. Oh, it's Roy, right? Roy. Roy, yeah. yeah like yeah, I yeah. met, I met Roy afterwards, and like he was super sweet. Like they're they're all really lovely, lovely people in in the in the Alex Cameron band. But saying this, I remember Miami Memory came out a fair bit ago now, like a few months back. And um, I don't really remember it. Mm. Like, and, and I mostly remember people just not being like pretty, pretty lukewarm on it. Really, that's what most people. And I'm, I'm super scared for this new Alex Cameron album. I, I don't know. I just have a feeling that I'm just not going to get into it. Yeah, I sort of feel it actually. It's really weird. I love his last one. I think it's so funny and mm. great. And the music's great yeah. on it too. Like, it's just such oh, a yeah, good combination yeah. of humor and actually good written songs but yeah, yeah the, the the first single wasn't bad but it, i just i just can't i just couldn't get into it there, there was a funny lyric on the course i forgot what it is it, he, he mentions like, oh yeah eating ass or something, <laughs> something so, yeah something funny something yeah yeah funny. and but that's the song just wasn't that good so i was just like no, oh, no man but maybe yeah. it'll be different when the album's out who knows yeah, I didn't even I didn't even really know who he was till all you YouTube guys went crazy about that last record. And, <laughs> yeah. No, for real, I didn't know I didn't yeah. really know who he was, and then all all you guys like went nuts about that record. I was like, I've listened to it; it's really good. And I was I was yeah. like, man, this is really unique, and like you know, it's always really good when someone can kind of stand out from the people that make you know music in his in his you know. Yeah, the the yeah. realm of music he makes, he really stands out in a really great way. Like yeah. you said, he's like funny and he's like, it, it's goofy and like it's like really intriguing and like you. Can, so yeah, that's cool. I didn't even know he had. Is, he has one coming out like this year. It's uh, coming out. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's the 13th. So it's literally. I, I think, next yeah, week. I, th I think you're there right. You yeah, go, yeah. 13th, same I'll day as Charlie. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know? I do you know the the one of the biggest ones I'm looking forward to right now. Go so I've got it. I've got it in my sights, right in front of me. Is the it's the new Angel Olsen album, man. Oh, you've got oh, it in your what? Okay. You got it with you? No, no, no. I've got. I, I, I'm looking at it on on my. Uh, on my oh. but, <laughs> I thought you meant. But, but, trust, I thought you meant I have me, it in my. Hands. No, no. Trust me. If I get a if I get a pre copy of that, you know I'm listening to it. Yeah. The new her new track is oh is just phenomenal. Yeah, like, it's great. It is, it is one of my favorite singles of the year. It's great. It's yeah. just so it, it it pushed past all expectations. It's like for me, it's like better than anything on her last album, and I love her last album. But this mm. new song for me is is just excellent. Like, oh, come on, <laughs> Angel Olsen, bring it on! Like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. That's really yeah. tough. Yeah, I didn't know she was coming out with one. See, this is what I'm talking about. You guys are gonna have to like. <laughs> I don't. I don't know stuff that's coming out, but like, oh yeah, Angel Olsen. That sounds great. You know, she came to, she came to this record store uh, where I live, um, pretty recently. But I was on the road. I didn't get to go. I didn't get to go say what's up. Oh, that'd be freaking cool. sucks. Yeah, it would have been really yeah. great. Yeah, but so. she's awesome. She's really good. Yeah. Yeah. She. Yeah. She's one of my sort of favorite. I mean, like, I'm huge. I'm, on singer songwriters like and she is as far as modern singer songwriters go she's up there like, yeah, yeah. There. she's great she's yeah talented as hell yeah. um the uh oh, the kim gordon album uh kim gordon kim gordon i'm looking i'm looking forward to that so much really uh well i'm, I'm like a i'm like a huge sonic youth fan yeah yeah um, i mean like i i just didn't know if people who were sonic youth fans were gonna really care for a kim gordon album but i mean fair well, enough like, i didn't well, know the, the thing is, is that uh, I think like two years ago, maybe pushing three, she put out a track called Murdered Out and it was, it was so good. It was like excellent, hmm. but um, she just never did anything after that. Like I, she just like continued with Body Head, um, which is like a droney band that she's in, which I also love. Hmm. Uh, but like she's put out two tracks from this album. One of them's Murdered Out, but another one... It's the first track on the album and it's like it's like super i don't know I, I can't even explain it but it's it's super experimental it's it's far away from sonic youth okay okay um i think her record 
will be one to look out for. All right. If if, if no if anybody listening has thought about it, <laughs> do not do not pass it up because <laughs> Kim Kim Gordon, she will always bring something to the table. Lyrically, okay. sonically, she's a talented woman. Don't fucking miss this Kim Gordon. <laughs> All right, you heard it I, from Josh, man. You heard it from I Josh. Could, I could be a fucking, I could be a PA, like. <laughs> hire me, hire me, Kim Gordon. <laughs> I think the world of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, a, a big one. I'm there? looking out for. Hey, what are you saying? No, no, sorry, no, I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> oh man, I thought you were mumbling. <laughs> well, okay, I'm looking out for Big Thief, man, because that's single. That's oh single. my god, that's single. Oh yeah, that was really good. Yeah. I saw them. I saw them because uh, I went to Green Man Festival recently. Yes, you did, and, and I was uh, supposed to be there, but yeah, go oh, on. Keep yeah. Talking. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I watched them because I'd already seen them in Cambridge this year, and um, uh, it was it was right after they released the the new album, and so they played mostly songs from that. But uh, when I saw them at Green Man, like they did a bu- they did a mix, like they did they even did like one from Masterpiece, their first album, which is like their less known, I guess. Um, but they did the new track live and it was just as excellent if not better somehow mm-hmm. and they i'm pretty sure they played like a couple of new tracks as well from this upcoming album and i was just floored like they were they were a huge highlight for me at green man um i am mm-hmm. super i'm super super excited for this album. yeah like, help me out wow. here so i know they they already came out with a record this year right so are they coming out with yes. two yeah, records yeah. this year yeah two yeah. records this year which is it's funny because like okay the, their past few records, they've they've released like three years apart. Mm-hmm. Like right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's why so I was asking. I didn't know. Yeah. I I hadn't listened to their new record, but I did hear that new single they put out because I, I heard that it was pretty good, and I was like, man, this like sounds like a really good progression. Then I looked back later, and I was like, oh, they already put out a, another record this year. Like, are they? So I didn't know they were putting out two this year. I'm about to catch up. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. Put, they're putting out too. I what from what I believe, like they recorded them, sort of at a similar, or like they were written at a very similar time, but they were recorded, uh, uh, you know, separately. And the first one was recorded in a proper studio nearby where they live or whatever. But this new one was recorded in a studio uh, positioned in a desert. No oh, wow. Would you feel you would you feel like would want to sort of you know influence the sound a bit? You know, like. That ch- you know that massive change of location. Mm. No, yeah, that's for sure. So I that's feel like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super looking forward to that because I, I'd like, I was big on their, their new album, uh, like from the start. I think a lot of people took time, yeah, to sort of get around to it and sort of appreciate it. Because I remember, sure, Rick, sure. I remember Rick saying he was like, because because Pitchfork gave it like a nine. <laughs> I know. And like Rick was like, ah, that shit isn't more than a six, <laughs> <laughs> and now he loves it. Like, yeah, yeah, well into it. That's funny, man. I'm calling you out, Rick. <laughs> that is true. I remember that because I was the yeah, same. I... I was like, ah, oh, it's all right, but yeah, I mean, a nine's cool. I'm not gonna get mad at it. But I was like, yeah, it's not that good. But that, yeah, I was actually grown on me since I heard it. So, yeah, if, you know. if Pitchfork are gonna give a nine to anyone, like, might as well be, you know, Lana crazy. Del Rey. <laughs> Lana Del Rey. <laughs> oh, God. You guys weren't calling out Rick when he gave my album the same score as Peppa Pig. Did he really? That where is disgraceful. You, where are you guys? Yeah, where you guys aren't in my corner on that one? Dude, I'm I don't get... <laughs> I'm absolutely in your fucking corner with this one. I don't get down on myself ever, but like that night it was one of those nights that I just was like... He was like, Peppa Pig's album is really great, and it is very... <laughs> It's not amazing, but it's. <laughs> I give it a very strong six Pepper out of Pepper. ten. I was like six out of ten, huh? Me oh and Peppa. <laughs> oh, it's man. I was like, God dang it, man! Me and Peppa. You, you're like, you're about to start beef with with Peppa and Rick. I know. Do, dr- drop oh, a diss God. track, like fucking go off. Like, I'm honestly. gonna write down the time that we've just been talking about, it so I can timestamp. Yeah, because, <laughs> and then we fiasco. send it to Ricky because like that was like the most on that was like the most on fucking point impression of Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Three minutes onwards, Peppa Pig gate. <laughs> like <fuck me. laughs> Peppa Pig gate. Man, f Peppa Pig, man. Me and Peppa Pig are got are going down. 
<laughs> See, last time you tried to get me to talk bad, bad about Logic, but now, like, now the real <laughs> yeah, beef no. is... <laughs> no, now this time, this beef is getting real. Peppa Pig has got to oh, go down, shit, man. Yeah, shit. Peppa Pig, watch out. Like, shit, you heard it first. You heard it here first. Sean oh, Reedy yo, yo, yo. Peppa and Pig. speaking of, we can go back to albums in a minute, too. While we're talking about beef, <laughs> like, if, if I'm going to talk bad about anyone... Uh, yo, Vic Mensa, if you're listening, bro, oh my God. that record is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Your record is trash, bro. Your record oh is... I am offended by how bad... Your new record oh is, bro. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Yo, me and me and Vic can beef all day. That man listened to punk rock music a week ago <laughs> yeah. and made an album. Then, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god! Yo. That that is like my true issue with that record is it's not it's not that it is like genuinely you know poorly written. It's um it is it is just that it feels like he he doesn't know that much about punk culture <laughs> it's I mean, cle- you know. clearly you're getting a good charlotte feature you do not know anything yeah, about well, punk music know, like, come know, on. like i feel like he was just like trying to if you've seen any of his like music videos for them he's like he's super no, trying to be RT, he's but... dressed up in a costume like yeah. he's dressed he, he went to freaking walmart and bought a punk rock costume <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then made a music video you know four years sober is the worst song i've heard all year long <laughs> it's definitely up there. It might it might be the worst track of the year. This yeah. man googled this man googled black punk rock band saw Bad Brains and was like, "All right, I'm gonna reference them that. in the record now." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna reference them that way. I'm I'm yeah whatever. Anyway, we can get back to whatever. But I I had to publicly shame Vic Mensa for that atrocity yeah. of an album. Yeah, it's crazy. Can, His downfall's been wild. Like I know. It's crazy. He had Actually, hype for a little while. He had hype. I remember. Internet tape is a great album. Yeah, I would. There was, there was a big backing for him at one point, but like <laughs> that's just all died. I would diss Vic Mensa, but he'd probably eat me alive if we're being real. But like, <laughs> <laughs> well, not hopefully, anymore. Hopefully, he hears this. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe my addition to the rap gang could be bringing back Vic Mensa to what he needs to be. Yeah, yeah. do it, my well, coach him. I, I feel like if he's going so far downhill that we might actually manage to get him on the podcast at one point. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. You got to have me on that day too because yeah. I'm gonna have some words. <laughs> like, like Vic, Vic, Vic will like buy you McDonald's and he's like, "All right, I'm in." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I need the money, guys. Come on. I, I if you see it if you see because he has like a lot of followers on twitter but anytime he tweets about that, yeah is it like 93 punks album like he gets like yeah. 27 likes or something and he's <laughs> all it's all so comments cool. replying like what the hell is this man it's terrible yeah. <laughs> just like, get back on your rap shit bro like nobody gives a shit <laughs> <laughs> like nobody likes that album like, they, they, there are only apologists there are only people who will like. There are only people who will say, "Okay, oh, yeah," but he's just doing what he's doing. Like nobody will be like, "Oh, this shit is fire!" Like yeah. I bought the I bought the vinyl. I, I, if I ever go to someone's house and they've got the vinyl of ninety three posts, I'm ninety three posts, like I'm leaving straight away. It's like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna text you later. We're gonna talk about this friendship, man, because yeah. you you purchased a ninety three punks, waited for it to come in the mail, and then you got no. it, opened it, and then played it like it was enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well. <laughs> oh man. Big Mensa. Big Mensa. Like, <laughs> I feel like if ninety three punks didn't end his career, like we just ended his career for him. Like yeah, this five yeah. minutes on a podcast, you know, it's 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 yeah. big. It's big stuff. It's big stuff. Yeah, we probably so just give the album promo actually. Oh, <laughs> More than anything, yeah. reviewing well, the mean, album gives gave it he promo because no I feel one was like talking he must about have it. Got, yeah, he must have got a few streams from it from people who were just like curious to see how bad it actually was. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, Anyway, sorry, Vic Mensa, uh, but your album is actual garbage. I'm not sorry, Vic uh, Mensa. No. That is garbage. <laughs> that is trash. Be better. Yeah. I feel like he's a sensitive boy as well. Maybe. Well, he, yeah. <laughs> well, he needs to take whatever emotions he's feeling and make better music then. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use just, that emotion for good, bro. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going ba- to get us back on track because I, I just cheated. I just cheated. I looked up albums coming up, oh, and God. I do have a few. Do it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, I'm. I, I want to see Peggy because, like, that's that's yeah. the homie. Yeah, yeah. He's great. 
I, I Dive put out some new singles that I really liked. Oh my gosh. Oh, D um, D I I V that Dive. Yes, yeah. The okay, shoe okay. Band. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Right, um, yeah. I cannot believe I forgot Clipping has that record coming out this year. Shit, yeah, Clipping. Clipping. What, when's that? Did, oh, is did it you guys October? like the new track? Yeah, it's October. Did you October. guys like the new track? I did actually, I, yeah. I haven't listened yet. I'm going to be honest. I haven't listened yet, but they're all a few the listens, last... but I like it, yeah. You know what was funny? Like, the last thing that happened in our Discord was I think I posted it in God Tracks, and then, like, Ricky posted it in general discussion. He was like, this new Clipping is garbage. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> like, I don't want any Clipping. Damn. Ricky's slander. getting slaughtered today on the podcast. Poor guy. I know. <laughs> yeah, Ricky, I'm, I'm calling you out several times today. Well, jo- Josh, jo- you know what? Josh backed him up as well. That that really hurt. Ooh. Josh didn't like the new track either. I don't know what they stand on it now, but, like, I loved it so much. I thought it was really fucking good. Damn. I still think it is. I get it, Josh. Yeah, you just can't handle opinions. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, uh, fuck me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can never be Vic Mensa right now. <laughs> oh bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And then you know who else has an album coming out this year? I'm looking forward to is the Men Zingers. Um, oh, the Men's, oh, yeah. Holy shit. Good yeah. shit. I really, shit. I really liked their last record, and they got another one coming in October, I think. And uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that too. So yeah, yeah, I'm, no, yeah, that's crazy. Wow, the men singers. I know. I'll have to look out for that when it comes out. Yeah, that October fourth. October fourth. Yeah, cool. October fourth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Baby Metal's coming out with a new album. I didn't know they were really out like that. <laughs> why did I think? I why did I think they'd like broken up? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know why. Like I, th- I thought they'd like broken up. I thought they packed it in. I thought they retired. Like it's been a little bit. Like, they're retired. Like, oh, they're oh, like twelve. Oh, we're, they're like, oh, we're, in, <laughs> we're in our teens now. It's time to pack it up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> no, oh, we're, we're we're fifteen. We're getting we're getting on a bit. Uh, yeah, man. We we gotta we gotta slow down this life, man. We gotta settle down. Yeah, I like to imagine they're just hardcore drinkers. Like, they're really, like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they're really so into drugs and drink, and like nobody can stop them because uh, they're you know they're baby metal. They're so huge. Oh, oh. Uh, speaking guys, of baby metal oh, and go? things coming out, maybe is Poppy coming out with the album? Oh, I'd I love don't, it. I'd I love don't know. it. She, I I genuinely haven't listened to like any of their stuff, but I I know I like I I listened to her stuff. Maybe like two years, three years ago. Oh, really? Like how it's like her last now. record was great, but you haven't heard the little song that she did that has like the the 2009 hardcore breakdowns and like. No, but that is what? amazing. I want to hear that right oh, now. Oh, you guys haven't heard? She has like this kind of like screamo song, but she's kind of like singing oh. normal and like. <laughs> oh, well, you guys got to go check that out. Never mind. I didn't so know she, you guys. She's didn't. like um. She's like the Grimes prodigy now. She's like taking over Grimes. Like Grimes is cancelled. Well, like the Grimes of wannabe. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love Poppy. Wait, 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 wait. No dis- We can't stop beef with Poppy. I'm not starting beef with Poppy. I love Poppy. <laughs> yeah. That we, new we song's know. confusing me. That new song's confusing me a little bit with the screamo guitars and breakdowns and but, whatever but else is meant- going on. But. But she's meant she's right. to. She's meant to confuse you. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> I've always loved her YouTube videos. Like, I think I was her YouTube say, videos are genuinely like, good. Like, what? Is she kind of, like, ditched that with her music now? Is that kind of left her shtick or oh, something? No, she, or, she's she, been... Yeah? Do, no, she's still got, like, her, her sort of act. Like, right, okay, okay. And she's still doing YouTube videos, but obviously oh, okay. music has definitely taken over her own sort of yeah. channel, I, I think. Yeah. I'd say, anyway. Cool. Hey, speaking she did, like, of... a, she, oh, she did a genius. <laughs> oh, really? I think so. Maybe I'm making this up, but I'm pretty sure she did. She was also on React. One okay. Point, which she was, was on React. Yeah, she was hilarious. Like she, like she was reacting to people reacting to her music. Oh, it's like Gogglebox. Or, or like her videos. <laughs> Poppy <laughs> reacts to people react to Poppy, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll get on there. <laughs> That that is an hilarious. She's like, oh, video. what a transcendent experience. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm bust, busting out the impressions today, man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm gonna have a conversation between Poppy and Rick real soon. I'm a I'm gonna post that on SoundCloud. That's what I'm gonna do. Do it, man. So Poppy. You're gonna do that. Uh, you know that like Kanye track. 
Yeah, that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll be here. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Jesus Christ. You, you just Rick, but like, you're pretending to be a fucking... <laughs> Like a Donald Trump supporter. <laughs> <laughs> like poppies on the other side, like giving reason, you know. <laughs> oh my God. What a fucking wild video. What a wild like tune that would be. Oh man. <laughs> Spe- speaking of Grimes though, is, is there an album yes. on the way or, or what? Uh, we were meant to believe there was. She, she put, put like, out that amazing out. single like in what, yes. February? Was no, it was, it was it... 2018, right? Was uh, the, it before? The... Is Dang, it, man. Are Whatever it was, it was good. It's we like appreciate power. power. Yeah, we, we appreciate. Oh, what that was last single. year, right? That is yeah, my that was last year. favorite November. Rhyme song. November. Yeah, I just that... checked. November. It was November. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That I thought we'd have an album out way before now, but I don't no, know what but, she's well, doing. She didn't announce like anything for a long time. I'm pretty sure it was only this year until she said that she was making an album. She she called it something, and it was something ridiculous. She made like a really really long post about it. Oh. But, like I think that's pretty much it. Like we've we haven't heard anything else. On wow. It. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> so I mean, I'd love an album. I'd love a Grimes album. Yeah, right I'm now. sad. Like, that is literally my favorite Grimes song I've ever heard. Like I thought really? it was amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, for real. Like that is my yeah. favorite Grimes song. And I was like, wow, I'm really looking forward to this. And then yeah, nothing ever came. So I hope she puts out something soon too. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, shout out to Grimes because that is my most viewed video ever. So thank you, Grimes. Oh, for real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was kind of lukewarm on the song, so I'm sorry, Grimes, if you saw it. Yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. not until this I, interview comes out when they see S. Reedy, Peppa Pig, Gate Man. Like, these, <laughs> these views are going to be nuts. <laughs> these views are going to be crazy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, need a cli- we need, like, a clickbait title. Yeah. <laughs> S. Reedy destroys Peppa Pig. <laughs> oh, man. S. Reedy gives Peppa Pig's album a one? Question mark? What? Like, red arrow, like red arrow in the thumbnail pointing towards S. Sean. It's like he's like yeah, got yeah. his hands on his face like, oh. <laughs> Rick and Vic aren't safe either. <laughs> Rick and Vic. Yeah. Peppa Pig pulls up on S. Reedy. <laughs> Someone died. <laughs> after, after this video, you're just gonna have like a gang of like people on your back now. You've got, you got Rick's crew. Yeah. You got Vic, Vic's crew, Peppa's crew. <laughs> Fuck. Right, I don't care. I don't care about Vic or Peppa. I don't. I love Rick. I'm gonna put that on the record right now. I yeah, love we Rick. all Good. love right. Rick. Good. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not about to go in on Rick. No, Rick. No. Just needed a bump. Bumped my score up to a seven, and we would have been yeah. fine. But he said he he said I was almost there though. So like you know like yeah, this From next Rick, record's gonna at least be a seven. Yeah, yeah. From and Rick, then that good. will be better than Peppa. Yeah, yeah. Like if Rick gives you your album more than a five, like you should be very very happy because Rick Rick can be a, well, he's a very opinionated human being. I love oh, him I know, man. Like, yeah. Oh he, no. He, he, like he'll come out with like, I don't know. Like he he is like the least. I, sometimes I can expect if like the needle drop will like an album. Yeah. But like with with um with uh, uh Rick, like I can never gauge how he's feeling about something. He's he can be so vague for so long. Oh yeah, man. I know. I, and that is I I. I love all you guys so much, man. Because especially <laughs> Rick. So drunk. Is that drunk? <laughs> I Shut up, man. You guys. You guys. Hey, fuck oh. you for okay. not giving me a seven. I'm trying to be nice, man. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. All good. I love all you guys so much, especially Ryan and Rick, man. You guys yeah. are really, really great, and everyone else that you know has has touched on my album and stuff. I thank you guys so much. And like you guys have really, you guys have really put, given me like a, a a smaller international presence that I like really respect. And all I've yeah. ever wanted as a musician is honest and critical feedback. And you guys literally make me think about stuff um, that like other people, like nobody else in my life would either tell me or even pick up on. And so like you guys are great, man. I really appreciate oh, you guys. Nice, well, man. That is, uh, is so lovely. That's to hear. beautiful. I think- man. I think that's kind of what like a lot of people are, are you know into reviewing music for too. Like I think it truly is that sort of back and forth conversation 
that everybody every, that's what we're you know everybody wants at the end of the day like yeah we we like music reviewers want to make the musician better and then you know the musician wants to hear that criticism so that they you know they can make themselves better it, it all like it always benefits to me music reviewing it always benefits the the musician like yeah Always. yeah no and for, yeah, for yeah. real and if ryan or josh if you guys ever give like a, a record i have a, a zero out of ten man i'm gonna be the <laughs> first person i'm gonna be the first person to like hop on the podcast again and be like all right let's talk about it like that's yeah. I, like i i think that's really cool like i and i know if i made an album worth giving a zero you guys would do it like that's what i really respect yeah yes, so yeah. uh i think that's really awesome you guys gotta tell david Rowe to get on uh the oh my, gosh, my review yeah. though Oh, that, yeah, that well, fool's that fool said he was gonna review my album in May. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean that, that's that's but David is like I don't know he I I know him I know is David him. the late like, kid. No, he's a procrastinating man. Like he will just procrastinate <laughs> like anything, you know. Like you know he he will just yeah he, he he'll get to it I think. Hopefully. Yeah, and it probably uh, in a yo. It drives me nuts because he seems to like the album more than any of you guys, and he isn't telling the <laughs> he really world. He really does it. like it. Yeah. I'm like, come it's on, true, man. man. I'm like, you have the most positive opinion. I gotta put, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put your one, like at the very top of the like of the quotes list of when I put like the reviews together. Oh yeah, I gotta get David's in there because he's gonna say something extra, extra nice. Like he's he's effing yeah. up my whole marketing campaign, man. Yeah, man. Well, <laughs> come, on. come on david, david, come on, david. david <laughs> no you... i'm not starting beef with david <laughs> no i wouldn't start beef with david no, no nobody should start beef with david no he'll destroy you <laughs> I'm, I'm not even jo- i'm not even joking i feel like he would oh shit like in a in a beef like he is the pusher t of of music reviews i swear <laughs> you start if you start beef with david, you'll <laughs> you've already lost <laughs> oh my god god it's dang. funny yeah, that's funny. No, I, I truly believe. Uh, back on the the. <laughs> the <laughs> We're so out of regret. Yeah. <laughs> I keep derailing this whole conversation. I yeah, keep talking it's... about people reviewing my music. <laughs> no, it's all right. Man. It's all right. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Um, the the fucking Sun O Sun have a new album coming Again? out later this year. Oh really? They're, yeah, Wait, they're pulling they a big. They're, yeah, they're pulling a big thief, dude. They're oh two shit. Albums more, yeah. I know. Chill, Everyone's wow. hopping on this like this hip hop trend of having more than one project a year. Hey, hey, while we're calling people out, Amy didn't like the album cover of the last one, and I'm oh, I'm I mad know. about I this. Know. I'm mad. That is incredible. So you know, yeah. it's an episode of calling people out, and I've got to got to pull up on yeah. Amy here, man. You know, this yeah. Is which why. one? Is, which one is Amy? The uh, the sound binge. Oh, I love her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have said like, sound binge. Actually, yeah, the sound binge. Yeah. <laughs> we just we just know her. As yeah, Amy. we know as Amy. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. No, yeah. I got you. I was yeah. just making sure I knew which one we were talking about. Oh, yeah. No, a- yeah. Amy, Amy, I love you as an artist. I love you as a music reviewer. But your taste in album covers is utter god. <laughs> I'm sorry. What she she I know she didn't like the Sun O album cover, which is just unacceptable. And she she didn't like the fucking the Black Midi album. Co- I know you don't like the Black Midi album, but the album cover is fire. I think she does I'm like sorry. it. Sorry. Right? No, no, she I album man put, album cover of fire. She put it in a one. dislike section. I'm pretty sure. Oh damn. Okay, uh, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I, I I'm I'm gonna search it up. No, now. she likes okay. she doesn't like the album cover. I thought she liked the album, right? No, or am I? No, she doesn't like the album. Okay. N- neither her or Buff her and Buffalo don't. Like okay, that. okay. Well, she's wrong in both those regards. Oh so shit. Like, you know, well, oh, yeah, well, wait, I, both. Oh, that absolutely. record that record and album cover are both fire. I agree with you. Oh, it's it's absolutely my like favorite album of the year. Yeah, sure. sure. Cool, man. Yeah, that was great. Black Midi. Black Midi. That's that those are my those are my British boys right there representing <laughs> British Black like Midi. So, well, you know what is funny? You know um so we we have Black Midi and then we have um Black Country New Road, which are, are a band that are sort of getting around a bit now. Um They're on the way. They are they are from um they're from Cambridge. Oh. They're locals. Yeah. Sick. So Look at me, like I, you know, I, I have Black Country New Road. What does what does Sheffield? 
nothing right. You, you, Only you, your but, favorite this... band ever, Arctic Monkeys, Josh. You just forgot. No, 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 you just no, no, forgot no. about that band that you <laughs> love so much. I don't know who that is. No, we're talking current. We're talking current music. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm last year. Music. You talked about it. Well, well, I'm talking like new, you know, new acts, you know, fresh. Oh acts. shit! Yeah, no, we got shit. No, we got low. We yeah, Chester, there was a big, there was a big hardcore scene in Sheffield for a long time. I used to go to a lot of gigs. Oh. Yeah, we had so many local acts that were starting to break through, and hilariously, they all just kept breaking up. Like they all just fall, fell off, like individually. It was because they were. It was. It was because they were all like trying to rape kids. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, it's you, true. You need to get like, so dark. Honestly, Fuck. Honestly, <laughs> Jesus. As soon as you get like, as soon as you get like a hardcore scene, it's over, man. Like those, kid, those kids, those kids are not safe. Wow. <laughs> those fans. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's the it's it's the truth of the fact. Damn. It's it's the, it's the fact of the matter, dude. Damn like, it. It's, it's the way it is. Full of shit. Yeah. Anyway, Sean. While we're on the topic of anticipated things you said you got a new i'm pretty sure we're on the topic of <laughs> child no 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 i had to change it though <laughs> we couldn't end the podcast episode with i was, like, I was just saying that's not the topic we were on like yeah. you... so when, when you were saying ryan when ryan was like whilst we're on the topic of i was like where's he going <laughs> but the, the main topic is anticipated oh, okay. we're supposed to be Anyway, yeah, okay. Go, go, Sh- Let's get- <laughs> Sean, hit me. <laughs> huh? Oh, what, what? What? What were you saying? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you uh, you wanted to talk about a new single, right? Uh, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I I was I decided I was gonna go ahead and uh, I was gonna announce on the podcast September twenty. No! 20- what? What? Really? What? What? On the podcast? That is incredible. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm so I'm, I want to go ahead. I was gonna announce on the podcast. Um. For the first time ever, exclusive. Put in the air horns if you got them. Um, yeah. <laughs> September twenty seventh. I'm putting out. I'm putting out one more song this year. It's called yeah. a rap song, and um, it's gonna be coming out September twenty seventh. It's gonna kind of conclude this little a mixtape, a tour uh, that you know my whole little series I've been doing this whole year. Um, it's called a rap yeah. song. Yeah. It's coming out September twenty seventh, which is my five year anniversary of being a hip hop artist. Oh. And. Oh. Uh, that's sick. So I've been doing it for about five years, and I'm going to be putting out this last song. There's going to be a video for it. I'm going to be doing a, a, a U.S. tour um, in November and uh, to, to kind of finish out the year and stuff. But this new song is coming out September 27th. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to look out for that, uh, you know, that'd be uh, super swell. Yeah, man. That's what I'm doing. Absolutely. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I did not expect that. I, I'm, I think you might have mentioned it to Ryan, but, like, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. We did. Oh yeah, for awesome. sure. Yeah, hopefully oh, uh, everyone listens to an hour of me being like, "Oh, I didn't know that was coming out. Cool. Oh, I didn't know that was coming out. Cool." And then they get to the very end and they're like, "Oh, okay. Sean does have a reason to be here." <laughs> oh man. It was but yeah, like, man. It was an hour what? of you going, uh, "Oh, I don't know this was coming out." Hey. Vic Mensa, I swear to God, bro, if you're ever in my area. <laughs> I'm very oh, upset bro. by the fact that that's true. <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah. all right. No, it's so funny, man. But yeah, it's September like... 27th, man, a rap song. Uh, yeah. Coming yeah. Absolutely. Out. Coming awesome. Yeah. Yes. Excited. <laughs> Um, was that was that it? Are we are we finishing up? Oh yeah 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 well, yeah. We can end it here now that we've. Uh, Hell yeah! We've... Hold on, real quick. Let me go ahead and shout out a few people. Go on. Oh, um, yeah. I'm gonna shout out a few records I've really been listening to a lot lately that people might not know about. Go. Um, there's an EP by a band called Pigments called Nothing at All. Okay. It's like dream. It's like dream pop from uh, an, another dimension with a gorgeous lady voice. Um, art. <laughs> look up Artie Do Good who you guys might uh, recognize, like you would know as the person who plays the horns and for a lot of Kenny Siegel beats and a lot of bus driver songs right. and a lot of stuff like that. Um, Artie Do Good has an EP out called, uh, uh, let me let me actually finish. It's something The Lighthouse. Let me look at it up real quick. A Message from The Lighthouse. Cool. Go check that out. There's a band called Limp Wizards that has an album called Circles. They're like a punk rock band. That are right. super great for my hometown. Nice. And uh, Pink Naval, Ruby Yacht affiliate, uh, has an album called uh, Born on the Stairs. But they also have an album coming out later this year that you, everyone should look out for. So Perfect. All, those, uh, all that music, if you guys 
ever looking for something new to listen to, I recommend all those super, super highly. Oh, brilliant, man. I wrote those down as you were saying them as well, so that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good friends of mine. Perfect. uh, All great people. um, You're supporting great people and great artists when you support them. Oh, great. That's a nice way to end the podcast. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Well, cool. Well, we'll end it here then. Thank you so much, Sean, for coming on. It's been great. Uh, make sure thank you so much for having yeah me. absolutely man make sure whoever's listening listen to sean reedy's music if you haven't already uh, that'd be great thank you again josh for being on as always and uh, thank you yeah. everyone for listening so yeah have a good day and goodbye <laughs>